Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 46 of Let's Play the Old Gods for Crusader Kings 2. So, where we left off last, we just, um, massive change in the power of the world. If we take a look at the ledger again, like we had a few episodes back. Arabian Empire is now the largest. And that was, um, what will become the Fatimids. Or... No, actually, it's the Abbasid dynasty. It's, you know, whatever. Excuse me. But, notably, Norway, number two, 305 holdings. We have a very, very small army because we've just been in a huge, huge civil war for like a decade plus. But, we'll quickly get our armies back. We're still at low crown authority. We have two kingdom titles. How much of the du jour area of Norway do we have? That's what I want to know. Or not Norway, of Scandinavia. We currently hold 45 out of 69 titles, which is 65%. We need another 15% and 600 gold plus 400 piety in order to create the empire. So, let's do this. It's, this is going to be... Ex hmm. It's going to be expensive, but right now we have Gavilkind Succession. Let's check religion. Can we reform the faith? It's under my control. We just do not have enough piety. We would need to get these other two holdings in order to create it without the piety cost. I'd have to attack Germany, and I'd also have to attack and get this county here, which is currently controlled by Lothringia, which is huge. He has a lot of power, 46,000 men. That's the current value. Let's check current versus peak. He's got 79,000 at peak value. I only have 22,000. Uh, that's not good. Not gonna worry about any of that yet. I think I'm gonna. I'm. I really want to make sure that the realm is stable. I don't think that in this character's lifetime. Well, it's possible actually. And you know what? I probably could do it. He's only 34, but he's maimed. Just to be... Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, fine. Just to be safe. Let's, uh... Okay, well, before I do it, let's check out Sweden. Sweden's at minimum crown authority. Yeah. Yeah, no. We're gonna have to destroy Sweden. It's gonna piss people off, but it's gonna stabilize the realm for the future, because then there's only one kingdom title, no one else can create a kingdom title, and everyone, no matter what, will always stay underneath Norway. Let's just do it. It's expensive. With you know, for both opinion and other stuff, but I'd rather do that. Okay, so now it's just the Kingdom of Norway. Fantabulous. Okay, that also means well, actually our levy might have gone up potentially because because Sweden had the m n low or none, no crown authority minimum. And now it's up at low because the Kingdom of Sweden doesn't exist, so the laws that apply are going to be the royal laws of Norway. So, okay, let's uh, get all of our men and go home. And then consider what to do next. I am still thinking about wrapping this up when we create the kingdom of or the Empire of Scandinavia, just because I, I need a tangible goal, I think. I don't really need to kill this guy anymore. No sense in going on a grand hunt. Are these people worth anything? Ten gold? Sounds good. We'll take it. Twenty-five gold for a bishop? Sure. Ten gold? Sure. 26? Sounds good. Give me the money. Scotland, how weak you have become. The capital of Scotland is now here. I can claim Scotland on behalf of... No. I could do a subjugation war, probably. I could do the subjugation of Scotland, take all the rest of Scotland. And if I did that, then we could probably create the empire of... Uh, what's it called? Britannia. We have the correct culture. No, we don't. Culture group Celtic. I thought that was us. Is it the same thing when I look at this one? Oh, no. I'm apparently culture group North Germanic. I can't create that empire. Never mind. Okay, well, interesting. Nonetheless...
We could do the subjugation of Finland and get all of Karelia. Or the subjugation of Denmark. Probably the subjugation of Denmark. He has 49 holdings versus Karelia's... 7. Yeah, I'd rather get Denmark. And I know Denmark's weak. I don't have peace with him. Oh, apparently I can't do a subjugation war on Denmark. Hmm. That's interesting. She's pretty weak. Can we attack her? Nope. Okay. I guess Scotland it is. Yeah. I feel like I just feel like expanding, taking out my my anger on on them. Look at all these men. It's wonderful. 400 boats. My god. Good god, man. Let's just send as many of the boats there now as possible. Just see if I can make it quick. Grab all these boats and we'll go here. We'll grab all these boats. Get them on the boats, 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 boats. They don't have enough boats. They have not been investing in their ship technology as they should be. We'll grab all the boats. Anyone that was able to get on the boat, go there. If you weren't able to get on the boat, then you can walk to here. Sounds good. That is the capital. He's a boy king, 12 years old. Let's see. And actually, we've got 5,000 men here so far. Not very much morale, but about the same that they have. Let's take them and go here. Oh, apparently he's actually not in this county. He's in f that one. It's kind of an am animation problem, I think. Victory will be sweet and quick. Do you play StarCraft? Blasted traitors. What? Peasant Revolt of Yezno? You little retards. That's just dumb. Alright, let's, uh, 1,700 men. That's not going to be enough. Just disband. We'll take care of it on our way home. Dangerous factions. Independence, 30%. That's not that big. Oh, that's a bad idea. We'll just siege that slowly. Townsfolk have... Mean nasties, apparently. Another 5,000 men here. We'll go there. Sounds good. What are your primary holdings? Do you just have the one? Gwynedd and Leon. Oh, interesting. Well, I think I'd rather take Leon then. Let's send this army down there. You can just go ahead and surrender any time now. That'd be great. He's outstanding, in fact.
Okay. That one's good. We'll head up there now with them. Actually, I think I want to just take his, his other primary holding. That'd be more important. Sure, I don't care. I really don't. I just want to win this war as quickly as possible. I'm so... I hate Scotland with a passion. I just want to destroy them. Okay, before I forget, I better go and take care of this stupid guy. He's going to siege that soon, and I don't want him to actually win. These are too small. That's silly. Let me guess, 20 prestige? Yay! Don't you have any money or anything? Polish Norse man, get out of here, go away. Okay, the realm's pretty stable, let's just go continue to beat up on Scotland. Kick them off the face of the planet. Oh, wonderful, it's a massive independence thing. Okay, apparently the independence faction has 66% of my power. I'm not going to be blackmailed. This Duchess of Fleiss is the one that is kicking it off. She's a Waldensian, a Catholic heresy. Her holdings are located here in Gloucester. So she's probably about to go at war with me. Yep, there she is. Let's just see if we can go capture her. We've got all these men already raised. No, no, no. Let's, let's try to finish this war with, with Scotland as quickly as we can. Oh, wonderful. Excellent, yeah. Yeah, they needed support, I know. Okay, I bet if I wait for just one round of sieging to happen, we'll be able to, to get all that. And then, um... I don't know, I don't really see a huge army anywhere, so I'm not really that worried about it. You're just a woman. What do you? What just, just leave me alone? Go away. We've lost my marshal apparently, so let's go ahead and get a new one. Definitely want to get back to studying technology. Okay, who do I want to educate my kid? A Norse, Norse. Detached priest? No. Norse, Norse, mastermind theologian, on the other hand? Sure. That's fine. Okay, come on, sieges. Let's win this war. He doesn't control Scotland. That's just silly. I control Scotland. It's mine. Give it up. And we're back down to here again. Oh, there's the main stack. So that's the opportunists, 18,000. Well, I don't have that many right now. But I think, after taking over Scotland, we'll have enough. Oh, damn it. We're not going to need all of them, so let's just send these men. I'll salt through one more holding. One more county, rather. There's 100%. Okay, we win. Thanks. We subjugated Scotland. Wonderful. Great. Good, good. Okay. Now we probably have two kingdom titles again, so let's destroy Scotland. Although, let's check the royal laws. It's always worth, worth checking. Now it's at low. Low and low. In that case, we'll just destroy it the Kingdom of Scotland. Goodbye. Okay, now that pisses everyone in Scotland off, of course. They're going to be really upset with me for having destroyed the liege title. And they've got the short reign penalty. 
But we're, we should be pretty darn stable. Let's invite our allies. We've got... Uh, I need to wait a few days to let that update. And let's see if we can just get lucky. The fact that the actual instigator of the war is this woman means that she can't lead troops. So she's just reigning in Gloucester. So if I can capture her, then... Because she's going to be in her capital. What is Denmark? Get out of my holding. So she'll be here. So if we can capture her, then we'd win the war right away. Capture her. Damn. Capture her. Capture her. That's unfortunate. Okay, woman, where are you now? She's still reigning in the same holding. Let's try this one. These aren't the people that I wanted. Although one of them looked kind of pretty. She's 35, though. Hmm. Nephew wants a fife. I told you, you're not ready. Would you shut up already? Okay, let's go re-raise the levy, get some more men. And then I think we'll be able to crush this pretty easily. Let's try to be kind. Didn't get it. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll disband everything except for the retinue. we we'll probably make a much larger retinue now. Yeah, look at that. Holy crap, I need to save up a lot of money so I can fulfill this retinue. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here. In the next one, we'll probably wrap up this war, and hopefully, I'm actually thinking I might be able to make the Empire of Scandinavia before episode 50. Let's see what we can do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.